This is my latest project that I've been building over the past few months. It's the world's first fully rideable Minecraft pig in real life. And if you're wondering why I just launched myself off the roof with it, I'll just let myself tell you. I've got every achievement in Minecraft except for this one. Luckily, that was just the cardboard prototype. This is the working pig, or Hamburghini. And at exactly one pig power, this thing can go at top speed of... Well, I guess we're gonna have to find that out. It's controlled using the carrot on a stick, of course, and as soon as the hungry pig sees the carrot, it starts to follow it. Or more accurately, it starts to chase after it. And as you can see from my face, this pig's got some scary fast legs. And I should probably mention that this was at only 60% power. I can't even imagine how scary this thing is going to be at 100%. But this dude doesn't just fly in one direction. It's got a full 360 degrees of motion. To turn it, you just move the carrot to one side and the Lamborghini will turn to follow, just like in Minecraft. It even beat my buddy's electric one wheel in a race. So you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, this seems extremely professional. And if you're thinking that, it's pretty clear you haven't seen how I built it. Now to get absolutely crazy speeds, you're gonna need a top-notch battery. And I pretty much had two options. Either I could make one, or buy one. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna make it. Using a sketchy welder I found on the internet and some 3D printed parts, I officially just made my first battery. At least, I think it's a battery. Now to make the body, I pretty much just drew on some wood, sliced it up with the old saw, did a little bit of this thing, a little bit of that, and then boom. To make the unpowered feed, I just 3D printed these things, stuck a skateboard wheel in there, I somehow broke it, and then remade it, and put the whole thing into a wooden foot. Whee! For the powered wheels, I also 3D printed the thing, but this time I stuck a motor in there, and then stuck that into the foot, and then screwed all of the feet onto the body. And obviously, I had to do a quick test after that. Whoa! Finally, I made the head and slapped it onto the body. The carrot on a stick was actually pretty simple to make. I just 3D printed it, sanded it, and painted it. And to make it so the pig could actually see and follow the carrot, I used this camera which can track colors. Having the pig track the color orange seemed like a good idea at first, but it ended up being very problematic. And you'll see exactly why in just a few minutes. Now the steering system was just a tad sketchy. If you didn't notice, I never actually made it so that the front wheels could turn, and I'm not exactly sure how I thought this was going to work, so I decided to switch out my front wheels with these things, which is what shopping carts use. Now I know it seems like basing a design off of a shopping cart would be a really good idea, but somehow it just didn't work out. So this time I I decided not to use 100% of my brain and just go with the obvious solution. I took a cheap Walmart drill, ripped a couple parts out of Dave, grabbed an Arduino, and made this to get control of the drill. Then I tore out some parts of an old 3D printer and created this absolute unit of a foot. I stuck the device into the pig, securely attached it, and boom! Steering, baby. Starts up, turns, turns left. Now that the pig is finished, obviously, we're gonna need to find someone to test it. I'm gonna need someone who's good at Minecraft, but also dumb enough to actually be willing to ride this thing. Hey, Joe. Mm -hmm. At this point, your boy Thomas was getting a bit hungry, so I did the only thing that someone with a working Minecraft pig could do drive to McDonald's. They must have been a little shy or possibly intimidated by my large Twitter following because I sat at that drive through for a full minute and nobody said a thing. They ended up being so intimidated by the sheer power of the Lamborghini that they kicked us out. So instead, I went to Jack in the Box, and these legends let me ride that pig directly through the drive through without question. To be fair though, I wasn't driving this time. Can I get a bacon burger, but without the patty, the bun, cheese, and anything else that isn't bacon? Make sure to drop a like for bacon. Three, two, one. Go. So do you guys remember Joe? <laughs> yep, that guy. Well, he decided to challenge the Lamborghini to a race. This Lamborghini. Now to give you an idea of how fast this beast can really go, I think we need to first do the speed test. Now I don't want to die just yet, so we're going to start with 30% power. Well, I guess I did survive that, so uh, let's just do the 60. All right. Now that's more like it. At only 60% power, we were able to make it up to 16 miles per hour. So after that, all I could really do is go all in and do 100% power. Let's do it. Did you guys hear that? That was the sound of a Lamborghini burnout, but it's a burnout on the inside. 
This belt here is what connects the motor's gear to the wheel's gear. This is what the belt looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. I think the reason it got shredded is because it was way too loose and not very secure. So I put a brand new belt into the pig's foot and it's finally back in business. I also set up the pig to work with a controller just in case it ever senses something random and starts speeding away when it shouldn't. And with that, we are now finally ready to do the 100% speed test. All right, final speed test, let's go. At 100% power, we were able to make it to 20 whole miles per hour. Let's go! And now that we know this pig is basically able to go light speed, I'm pretty confident that it's going to outrun Joe. Come on, Joe! Why is he so fast? <laughs> this race was extremely close, so we can't really know for sure who won. But to keep things interesting, I'll give this first point to Joe. Three, two, one, let's go! For this race, I pretty easily handed Joe the L. It was all tied up and we are getting ready to do our third and final race when the worst possible thing happened. Oh. Not the pig, no! Oh, no! Remember when I said this? I also set up the pig to work with a controller just in case it ever senses something random and starts speeding away when it shouldn't. Well, um, it started speeding away when it shouldn't. And I wasn't even holding the controller. No! No, no it's I just... The... So Bro! Did you see that? That was a millisecond long footage I somehow took of the pig speeding away. I'm not really sure how I did it, but this is the only footage we have of the crash. But guys, the amazing Lamborghini will live again. Most likely only in our minds though, cause I don't want to rebuild this thing. Also guys, I made a creeper in real life. Make sure to click right here if you want to check that out.